Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you're checking out a introduction video to a new tutorial course on ADSR Courses. This is a masterclass tutorial that is focusing on Native Instruments Razor. Razor is a reactor ensemble, or synth, if you're like me, I call it a synth, and it is a very, very capable instrument. It definitely got marketed as a dubstep kind of a wub 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 synth when it came out, but it can do a, a litany of genres. It can do pop, hip hop, EDM, film score, ambient, you name it. So Razor is actually an additive synth that is presented to you as a subtractive synthesizer. What I mean by that is the interface looks a whole lot like synths like Massive or Silent. It does not look like a synth like Alchemy or Loom or some other additive synths on the market. And what that does is it does two things. It creates for a really unique sound design experience and it also creates a very unique sonic imprint to the sound. So this tutorial course is about four, four and, a half hour four and a half hours long, and it covers literally everything you need to know about Razor. Now, I didn't want this tutorial course to turn into a boring, just online video of the manual. So what I try to do at every point possible, I try to talk about as many sound design tips and tricks as I can as we're talking about certain topics. So if we're talking, if I'm talking about the, the oscillators or the filters, I'm gonna throw in tips and tricks that I've found along the way using Razor for about three or four years that I like to do with certain filter types or certain oscillator types to get more out of the synth. Now we do cover the basics. So if you're brand new to Razor, maybe you got it incomplete or you've had it for a while, but you've never really used it. This is a great chance to learn everything you need to know about the synth so it can become one of your go-to instruments in your production process. So the videos start out with things like the signal flow, the graphical user interface, and then it advances into the waveforms, the filters, and how to put those together to make sounds. And then we, we, we look at each effect and how you can use those to shape a bunch of different types of sounds like basses, leads, and plucks, and all of that. There are a couple bonus videos at the end where I'll show you how to make big unison super saw type sounds inside a Razor, as well as how you can create sub basses and just a sine wave, because believe it or not, Razor doesn't come with a straight up sine waveform. And I even spend a good chunk of time talking about Razor's vocoder. So if you didn't know that Razor has a vocoder, it does, and it's awesome. I'll show you how to set up the vocoder, because it'd be kind of complicated in pretty much any DAW. So whether you use Logic, which is what you see on the screen behind me, I know it looks different, but it's just a theme, or whether you use Ableton, or whether you use Pro Tools, it doesn't matter. I'll show you how to set it up the most easy way I know how, and then what you can do is use a vocoder as a filter type in a synth, and the first time I figured that out, blew my mind. So if you want to learn more about Native Instruments Razor, definitely check this tutorial course out. Like I said, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for checking out this little introduction video. I'll see you next time.